So we're hopping around, Peter, but Arjun Ergaisi, there at long last, he sits and faces off against Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, very interesting. Is this some mind game by Arjun? Yeah, usually we know that Magnus is the one who, who comes in the very last moment. Very interesting stuff. Is this psychology or was it just some accident? Because sometimes you have to go to the bar in the very last second. You never know, but it's kind of a signal. And I think he wants to avoid the fate of Vidic Gujarati because there we see the handshakes. The game has started and the game doesn't end until the clock is stopped. That's the thing about Magnus who starts with the King's Pawn opening. And we have a Sicilian. So this could be an exciting tactical battle between these two. And we'll see exactly the continuation we go down, but the board is starting to open after these first few moves. Yeah, so it's... Wow! And Bishop D3! This is very interesting, and yeah, uh, Magnus goes Knight takes D6, B takes C6. The reason why I said, wow, that uh, White was unwilling to go for this Knight C3, Bishop B4 territory that Arjun has been experimenting with uh, recently. Yeah, those lines can get very sharp, and I think for Magnus, what he understands about Origin Aragaisi, very well prepared, extremely dangerous. And so look at this position. Um, there's a bit of holes in Black's camp, especially those dark squares, and his last move, bringing that dark square bishop out, the square it sits on, he just aims into Black's position, appears across the board, saying, how do you compete for all of these dark squares? And so for Arjun, it's his first real think of the game. He still has over 15 minutes because of the time control with the bonus time. Yeah, wow, well, now also we are getting the moves. It's uh, very interesting because the action is a little bit slow. After e6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6. Basically offers white to play the move knight c3 which in our childhood we have been taught that bishop b4 is too premature, white plays e5, e4, e5, and it's very dangerous for black, but Arjun has been going deliberately for this type of positions for this specific line uh, in some recent games, and Magnus says, you know what, I'm not interested, let me avoid any kind of tricky theory, let me just play chess, bishop d3, knight c6, Capture on c6, b takes c6, bishop f4, d5, knight d2. The trademark, uh, Magnus Carson, everything under control, everything is protected and everything harmonious. And it looks like uh, a few mo more moves have been played with the white king as castle. Black, uh, yeah, we got the bishop out as well. And we see that there's a pawn on c4 now, which is the standard way of playing against black's pawn structure. because. All of the fight is on that d5 square, and if black flinches, if black decides to take either the e or the c pawn, you're left with these isolated pawns on the queen side, and that's kind of a non-starter when you're playing against Magnus Carlsen. You don't want these long-term weaknesses. Vidit had almost as a team. Uh, I mean, queen b6 you know, was the last move that I see here, and I have to say, I, I think that white's setup is harmonious. I, I would take the white side of this position. I feel like uh, it's just a pleasant type style for Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, somehow White's moves are coming more easily. The first move that comes to mind is something like Queen C2. I'm not sure if this is the best move or not. I just want to highlight that, yes, yeah, somehow the moves from the White side come so much more naturally. Yeah, Queen C2 looks like a good choice. Pawn to B3, if you're ever worried about that B2 pawn, you can always just throw it one square forward and no longer are you concerned. Uh, but yeah, Queen C2. Dubov had some brilliant preparation, but then somewhere things escalated. Uh, he has the, the time advantage and he felt like it's it's a good moment. And what? There is another what? finish in Magnus' game. Wow, so just when I was talking about banning the draw, for it looks like Magnus and Arjun make a draw. And it's unfortunate because if you look at the position, not much has really happened. So we didn't get a true skirmish. The players are maybe just talking about little subtleties. The bishop attacked the queen, the queen moved yes. away, the bishop attacked the queen, and so, you know, it is a shame that we didn't get to focus in on this titanic clash, but if we're being honest, Peter, there wasn't really much to discuss here. I mean, they're talking about maybe 
little things they could have changed, but it was neutralized. Arjun Eric Icy did very well to hold off Magnus Carlsen and make a pretty easy draw without sweating. Yes, this is great news for Arjun. So for all the Arjun fans, I think they are celebrating this draw. And it wasn't a draw for, yeah, this was a repetition of moves, it was a strategic battle where actually Magnus has set up the idea of sacrificing on h6 with queen c1, give white one more.